Good morning students. Welcome to the computer class of 8th standard. In the previous session, I have discussed about the types of software and what is an operating system. Today, I am going to discuss about the need of an operating system and functions of operating system of lesson number one operating system and graphical user interface so now open page number seven of your computer book our first topic is need for an operating system how many of you have played real-time strategy games on a computer that is on a Sony PlayStation or Xbox? I guess almost every one of you must have tried your hands on these fancy gadgets. The game board, joystick, remote, monitor and disk holder all fall in the category of hardware. However, the game, its characters, the sound and animation effects fall in the category of software. Have you ever imagined how the hardware components interact with the software components? It is at this point that the need of an operating system is realized. We need an interface which fills the communication gap between the hardware and a user. An operating system encompasses all operations such as what to do, when to do and how to do. If you have to perform an action based stunt during the game, you simply press the required buttons in the given order. This information is passed on to the operating system, which takes care of the final outcome by handling what to do. What to do is to perform a set of moves for the game corrector. When to do when the required buttons are to be pressed in a correct sequence. How to do through proper communication with the application software and instructing it about the correct motion of the player as seen on the screen. Now next topic which I am going to discuss is features or functions of operating system. So come to page number 8. The most popular operating systems which are used nowadays are Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 and Mac OS X. Most operating systems have certain features and functions in common. Some of the features are Processor Management Processor management 
is one of the most important functions of an operating system. The operating system ensures that each process or application receives enough time from the processor to function properly. Operating system manages the working of the processor by allocating various jobs to it. Process is defined as a running program and running process is controlled by the operating system. So all the softwares like MS Word, Media Player are controlled by the operating system. Next function of an operating system is memory storage and management. Memory is the storage space used to store data and instructions. An operating system manages the sharing of internal memory among the multiple applications. It also take care of the fact that one process should not consume the memory allocated to another process. Here process means a running program. Next function which I am going to discuss is file management. A computer system uses a lot of data which is stored on the secondary storage devices. An operating system keeps the track of information regarding files such as creation of file, deletion of file, popping and transfer of file in an organized way. Now students come to page number 9. Next function of an operating system is device management. How do you think the peripherals connected to the computer system work? Operating system controls the working of all input and output devices. It may also include management of storage devices. So it is the responsibility of operating system to keep track of the status of all devices in the computer system. Come to the next that is security and protection. It provides security by means of passwords to prevent misuse of a computer. Means security provides protection to your computer system so that no one else can use your computer without your permission. Next one is enforcement of priority system. An operating system maintains a specific order in which various jobs are executed in the computer system. Each process is assigned a priority. Again, process means a running program. Process with highest priority 
is to be executed first. For example, in this table, that is process P1 is having the priority to, so P1 process will be executed first, then P3 process will be executed and at the end P2 process will be executed because P2 is having a priority 0. So it is the responsibility of operating system to maintain the priority of the running programs. Next function which I am going to discuss is provision of user interface. An operating system provides a systematic user interface. Here user interface is a means by which the user and the computer system can interact using input and output devices. It can either be CUI that is character user interface and GUI that is graphical user interface. In character user interface a user can interact with computer using only keyboard. To perform any action, a command is required. For example, MS-DOS, that is Microsoft Disk Operating System, has character user interface. In graphical user interface, user interacts with the computer using graphics. Graphics include icons, navigation bars, images, etc. Mouse can be used while using this interface to interact with the graphics. For example, Windows has graphical user interface. Last function of operating system is job control. When a user wants to run an application program, it is compulsory to communicate the instructions to the operating system about the work to be done. Using a standard set of system commands called JCL that is job control language a user can communicate with the operating system. So students with this we have completed our topic need of an operating system and functions of operating system. I will discuss further topics in my next session. Till then, do reading of pages 7, 8 and 9. Thank you.